what is going on youtube savage here i hope you're having a good day and i hope that warzone has been treating you well in today's video we'll be breaking down analyzing and spectating some viewer submitted gameplay during this video we're going to put you guys in the shoes of the players we're spectating going over the mistakes that they make as well as the mistakes that the enemies make that way you guys can know what's going on and try to avoid them when you're playing the game but before we get into the video if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel join the wolf pack today also leave a like on the video let's get this video to 2,000 likes and as always you guys are tired of playing by yourself and you're looking for their teammates make sure you join our discord community and utilize the looking for groups pages to your advantage to go out there and get some wins but without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the video all right here we are starting at the beginning of the video let's go ahead and see what we got ourselves into <laughs> all right looks like we're taking uh the four-wheeler into the bunker oh there he is surprise hey not a bad way yes. to start the game brother <laughs> thank you Open to die. Yeah. all right to not really uh is. any strategy or anything to critique there that's just that's just good old-fashioned having some fun here we are accessing the bunker if you guys didn't know the code yeah here you go um and this is a great way this is a great way to go ahead and get a shit ton of money really fast as well as some pretty decent weapons not the best but definitely better than your normal yeah, ground loot weapons though, plus half of you guys can walk out of here with armor satchels half of you guys will walk out of here with ammunition boxes um armor plate boxes and things like that so it's a really good place to go if you guys just want to get fast loot and as you can see like they did they ran into an enemy team there's usually going to be a couple teams going for this spot so it's not really technically a hot drop but if you guys want a hot drop but you're not you're not ready for the superstore area this wouldn't be a bad place to start all right, but look at this. We've already got enough money for our loadout. Here we go. They still have 137 people on the map. All right, we're gonna need, uh, All right so we're rocking the Grawl and the MAC-10. Not a bad setup. I haven't really... I personally haven't really fallen in love with the Grawl again. I'm gonna be honest. Maybe it's because I'm tired of using it after after almost a year. Um, But I don't know. Something about it just doesn't sit well with me. All right, but here we are moving out. We've already got the bounty objective marked. I love that. Instantly go for that. You know damn well there's going to be players in Boneyard also. Um, hopefully we can find some money, get a UAV up in the air. That'll help us work around this area as well. Wait, 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 wait. Is that train I have a heartbeat. I have a heartbeat. There's nothing on the train right now. Is it hit already? All right, so again, areas like Boneyard, areas like Storage Town, any area that's cluster with a bunch of buildings and cover like this, it's a scary place to fight. So always you want to get something in the air. You want to get a UAV, advanced UAV. You want to get something in the air to let you know who's around you. And especially since it's so damn early in the game, nine times out of 10, most of the players won't have Ghost on. Even mid and late game, a lot of players coming back from the Gulag, coming back, just refusing to pick up their Ghost class, just haven't had the time to do it yet. A lot of times players won't have no, ghosts on anyway so i will well, always I, always always I, recommend i'm no, um, getting uav in there especially in areas like this and there's so many hiding spots and corners and crevices for billy joe betsy to be sitting in to shoot you in the back as you're running through and slide cancel and try hard and sweating your ass off now i wouldn't pay too much attention to the ping remember the ping is not a hundred percent accurate unfortunately if it was it'd be kind of broken um, but I think the delay is a little too long, to be honest. But I want you guys to notice right now, we're in a position where the team's split up, right? So the team is split up. One's hiding in the warehouse. I got a lot of words for those guys. And then you have the rest of them hide on the rooftop across the street, right? So how do you push this fight efficiently? Well, the best thing, in my opinion, would be just to blow through them one at a time, right? But I'm going to tackle the easiest building first. The plan I would have in my head is I would go ahead and get my entire team to bulldoze this building. Why? Because it's the easiest building to push. And then if we can go up there and bulldoze through the enemy or two enemies that are up there, they're now down from four man to two man. Also, it might bait these guys out of this building to come assist their team. Probably not. Usually teams that camp and hide in little corners, they're not worried about nobody but themselves. But there is a chance while you're killing this team, their guys will leave this building. And then once we've already secured this rooftop, we can just shoot them as they cross out in the open. So again, that's what's in my head. Will it actually go according to plan? Probably not, but that's where Audible is coming to play. I mean, there's, there's one on me. What is he? Is well done. All right, we killed the, we killed the bounty little bitch. I love it. Using the sticky grenade, suck it. Uh, time to push. 
Damn it. But unfortunately, we didn't rotate to help him out. In my opinion, if I was green, I wouldn't have pushed this building at all. Mostly because my team was just kind of playing this area and we're not really exactly sure what the hell is going on in this fight. Is it the same team? Is it two different teams? Why are they camping two different buildings? Are we safe to push this warehouse without getting shot from the guy on the rooftop? So many questions we don't have answered yet. I want to go ahead and get a plan of action. Green just went ahead and full sent in, which wasn't a bad idea, but because of lack of communication between the team, it was a little too late by the time he died. Even though he was saying on me, on me, on me, again, this team, if they would have run up there to try to save him, they could have been vulnerable from the guy on purple ping over here because he would have had a great line of sight on us. And again, at the same time, we still have no idea where the other teammates are or what the hell the entire situation is. So I probably would have played back a little bit, come up with a game plan together verbally, and then executed the plan of action. Surviving earns them redeployment. But we do need to do something. Stick like Gucci, guys? Maybe. Dude. You're pretty far away. There's two teams. It's not like we're fighting uh, one. I wasn't that far away, but yeah, I, we. I, 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 I thought we said the fellow was on me. Yeah, I, I wouldn't push that building though. See, shit like that is what I love. If you're not bitching with your teammates mid-game, you're not playing correctly. Unless you're winning every game, right? You guys need to start figuring out what the mistake is and learning from that. Stop having an ego. Stop worrying about shit. Just say, hey, bro, you up have the other guy sit there y'all debate it back and forth and hopefully at the end of the argument and conversation you guys can come to terms with what actually happened and then grow off of that but that's uh, the campiest building in the whole game yeah i feel yeah i agree with him that guy that killed sam he's running to this buy station here. it is the campiest building in the whole game again which is why i said i wouldn't attack that building first i would go ahead with the purple move now despite everything happening we do need to plan action green was right to try to execute something off the bat I just think his plan was wrong. But again, I'm not blaming Green at all. No one else had a better plan. So we've been here way too long. We're down to down a teammate. Our teammate's in the gulag. We need to go ahead and win this fight. That way our teammate can land safely, get his shit back, and we can move on to the next one. But I don't want to sit in an area for too long, give the enemy team time to come up with a better play, give third partying teams time to come up to us and third party us because they hear our suppressed shots, because they have us on UAV. And I also do not want the enemy team to get their teammate back should they win the gulag, should they just go to the buy station and buy their teammate back, and then force this fight back into a 4v4. But being down a teammate or not, There's we need to execute now. Here. Let's go. All right, blue, let's go. All right, here we go. Now, Orange is separated. I, lost, uh, I definitely would rather him with oh, us. I'm also, look at the mini map. Yeah, that, that's the guy I'm looking for. Okay, I'm coming right back on my stuff. You nice. Guys, the the mark. That was probably the He's easiest. Not alone. He's not alone. Most wanted bounty ever. No, he ran off. He's at. He's by himself over at this buy station. Buy station identified. I'm gonna buy UAV for you guys. Hop you clear. Helicopter land there. He's, he's probably about to get killed. Nobody got UAV. Wait, Sam, he, he got out. He got Sam got out. UAV. Area recon coming up. UAV entering the AO. We right, might we be able to blow this guy off the vehicle. Damn it. What's that? Damn. Somebody flying? We got a whole team. Right, we got here. a guy here. All right, here's something I really want to cover. Decision making. Where should you push? Where should you not push? What's the easier fight? So whenever you're looking at the map and you're like, who do, what team do I want to push? There's a lot of people up here. You always want to try to take out the easiest team possible. Granted, they may be more skilled than the other ones, but... What I mean by easiest is what area is easier to fight in. This building right here, dude, just, just like Green Ping, it's a, it's a bitch. It's a bitch of a building. There's, there's two ways up, and they're usually guarding all those ways with Claymores, Bouncing Betty's, just laying there prone, waiting for you to crawl up the ladder. Now, if the only team on the minimap is actually marked here, then I'll go chase them down. But because we have three different areas we can go fight at, the choice is yours, right? So we're looking at this first. I'd probably rotate to Storage Town. I think Storage Town is one of the better places to fight. There's a lot of great opportunity for teamwork because the amount of cover, because of the amount of ways to push. I mean, it looks like a damn Tetris game right here. So the ins and outs of this area is beautiful for fighting in. This would be my second choice. The reason why I say second choice is just like with Green Ping building earlier, you've got two of them here. Definitely not my favorite spot, period. Um, but I do think these are better to fight at than this because this right here running towards the building out in the open You run the risk of getting sniped But even if you guys do make it safely across without getting pooped on you still have this huge uphill battle Trying to get to the top of the roof where they're probably all gonna be camping like baby back bitches, right? 
But let's progress. Let's see what happens. And that too. Get sus, baby. Get sus. Let's go. Great tracking. Let's go, baby. Great tracking. ADS sensitivity is on don't point. Shoot, I love shoot. it. Let's go. I love it. All right, let's take advantage of that. We got the knock. We got two of their teammates coming for the res. This yeah, is going to be a it? nice... This should be a nice cleanup. Now, orange and green should be on our heels because right now we are pushing into a 2v4. Sucks for him. All right, I love the dead silence. I love the fact that you didn't push in the same Check window. Check out the guy from the other side. Yeah, I do believe there's another guy in gas station. There is. I'm pushing in. We got a team coming from the Last guy behind the wall. He went behind the wall. Did you get him? He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. What? getting sandwiched all right i love that so we're in the middle of a fight and his teammate says we're getting sandwiched that's that's a hundred percent right so we're fighting right here which is good but we need to win this fight and get the hell out of here because we have those guys up here at this building sniping us shooting at us from long range whatever it is they're doing but they're trying to suppress us and get us damaged which is going to make it harder for us to fight so once we have this fight won which i think we do now we could then rotate to storage town because there are two teams fighting there and hopefully we can take advantage of that and third party the team but we're not out of the woods yet. We're about to die. We need to be played up and then hopefully rotate back to storage town and shit on this squad. Yeah, the warehouse, the warehouse. Again, I wouldn't worry about warehouse. This is again where decision making on the fly comes into play. And it's not just because you want to pick the best fights and not die, but these are going to be three of the easiest kills I think we're ever going to get. So I definitely rotate here. I'll kill these three guys first, clear out this. And then if you want, you can push that building across the street. But I would stay focused up on that mini map and pay attention to that cluster of bodies sitting here. There we go. Another team, another team close. Yeah. Why are you, why are you going to them? Oh, I got sniped. One down, one down. I'm here if you guys could get me. I'm going to be 100% honest. Got to your left, got to your left. Other side. Up the hill, up the hill. Two, 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 two. Only two up there, only two up there. I know, I know. Down one? One's paying up, one's paying up right down, right down in front of you. Yes. Ah, I ran out of ammo. Two things that I want to go over right here. Uh, the first one, teamwork. Even with Orange being gone and dying, we still had three teammates. We should have all pushed this hill and fought together. Um, one of the guys got picked. I'm not sure exactly if he was trying to ego chow the guys across the street, and that's how he got sniped and picked off. But that put us instantly in a 2v, you know, three or four situation, which ultimately ended our lives. Now, there's a huge problem with your tracking when it comes to close range fighting, but I don't fully think it's just because you don't know how to aim. You track perfectly and beautifully the guy on the vehicle, which is usually harder to do. I think maybe just the stressful situations had your aim a little bit off during that entire fight. Even the guys you did kill just a little bit behind sometimes. And then this fight particularly, there was just a lot of spraying and praying going on. So one recommendation I do have, load up against bots and practice. I know it seems crazy. I know not everybody's trying to go out there and be a pro, but the game does become more fun if you guys just practice against bots. That way, when you do play this game for fun or for whatever reason you're going to play it, you guys can have a better experience. Oh, all yeah, right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the yeah, moment that we all hate to see, right? Uh, we all hate being in this position. I'm hit. Mark me a buy so I could buy one bad real quick. Just uh, grab this. All right, this is something I want to go ahead and stress too. And it's not just console players, it's all players across all platforms. So one thing we as first person shooter gamers need to realize is you need to pull your crosshair up. Right? So if you're walking in real life, are you gonna be walking like this? Well, a lot of people do, but don't do that. Make sure you fix your posture, stand up straight, look straight ahead, right? But same thing with video games. When it comes to the video game too, you guys wanna have your reticle even with the horizon, meaning raise up your reticle, make sure it's even with the horizon. That way, if an enemy pops out, you only have to go left or right. You don't have to go up to the left to the right and do all this correction. The more corrections you guys are forced to make in the middle of a fight, the longer it's gonna take for that kill, which puts you at a disadvantage. So look up. It'll probably put you there on the way. Now, I busted. My neck hurts from uh, you looking at the ground. 
<laughs> Whoever just who just said that busted nuts. You're my hero. I swear yeah, to God. I, I swear to God. Yeah, my neck my neck hurts when you do that. I don't know why. No, he's talking about me. He's right. No, I'm spectating uh, busted. He's right though. He always likes to run. Oh, and honestly, it's no hate. Most players do this. If I had to just throw a number out there, I'd say 70% of gamers, no matter what game they're playing, if it's a shooter, they're looking at the ground. Don't know why, don't know how, it doesn't make it better. It's, it's the weirdest shit. I used to do it too. It's the weirdest shit, man. When I play with people and I'm spectating and they look at the ground, it gives me a headache. Around. Oh, well, okay. they got out of the car in front of you. Oh, wait, no, no, it's you. That... <laughs> I thought it was busted. Oh my God, <laughs> it's you. Oh, no. right, we got busted number two now. <laughs> <laughs> all right so right now we have enough to get we have enough to get one teammate back all we need is a couple hundred one. more dollars so right now what i would want to do i think in my opinion depending on everything going around again different situations dictate different strategies but what i would do is hopefully find another blue box just a normal box and it has a couple hundred dollars in there we can grab it then we'll have you know eight thousand or plus to buy two teammates back and I wouldn't finish these scavs. And the reason why I wouldn't finish these scavs is if we're by ourselves and we finish these scavs, we get X amount of money. But if we get two of our teammates back and then we finish these next two scavs, not only do we get that extra amount of money, but so do our two teammates. So I think that's what they're talking about right now is trying to get the teammates back. That way, when our teammates do come back, we can finish up the scavs and we can get even more money. And the reason for that is not just to get your team back, but to get UAVs or a loadout or, you know, other things that you may want or need. Oh, remember, there's a car that just parked right there. Don't get too yeah. comfortable. Uh, cluster? No? This one's closer, bro. Should I just finish it? Take the bus. No, 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 don't finish it, don't finish it, don't finish it. Get it. Get it. There you go. Now All right. Go don't finish the last one, one though. If you buy us back, we're gonna have enough money. We finish it. We get uh, we get three thousand six hundred each. Damn. That's loadout right there. And I'm gonna say this again. I really wish that Activision would give console run, players no, field of view bro. adjustments for Warzone. I don't give a shit about <laughs> Are you Cold War. Me? I'm the top one. I'm not? Okay, I thought I, I was. I th yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right here too. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm I got you right here anyway. I got, I got All right, all we need is $400. One of these two boxes no. will give us the cash and we can get our God, dude man. back. There we go. Boom. Yeah, there it you. is. There it is. Come yeah, back, fellow. Come back. Fuck the duty, man. Yeah, to be honest, I'd probably uh, just does go with my team. Does it, uh, Can I see that live team on you? Is he up top or down below? Oh my god. He's, ju he's jumping down. Yeah, they're all up top. They're all up top. Let's go. We, ha we have to go. We have to go. At this point, man, y'all need to get together. I don't know. Just get the... At this point, we got our team together. We got a lot of money. I wouldn't even buy shit right now. I know that sounds weird, but I wouldn't. We've got people pushing us from the south side. We've got people apparently on the rooftop of this building as well. We need to get out. Now, in normal situations, I wouldn't run from the fight, but because we have a loadout drop over there at Boneyard, that's exactly where I'd want to go. I would want to get me and my team some shit together. We'd go to Boneyard, grab our loadout. Then we would use the buy station next to Boneyard to buy our shit. Then we can come back here, fight, go anywhere we want and fight. The last thing I do is fight this aggressive ass team that's pushing us from multiple ways with a damn pistol. Fuck out of here, quick. <laughs> yeah, facts. Is a lot facts. of people here. Get them out of here. We've got a vehicle. We've got a vehicle out back. They're coming, they're coming. Oh, there goes one. And the reason from it, it's not it's not like running from a fight. Technically, technically you're running from a fight, but it, it's a strategic running, right? We're not just running away because we don't want to fight, we're running away because we want to fight with weapons and we don't have any. Um, even picking up, you know, the normal FFAR and ground loot weapons like this, I wouldn't want to challenge anybody with an AMAX or a car or a built mac 10 with these basic bitch weapons so you're at instantly at a disadvantage at that point you need to pull the cord and get the hell out of here i, I wouldn't sit here I, I wouldn't loot shit i wouldn't pick nothing up get that damn vehicle get your damn team and roll out Take man that's your only way of survival in my opinion yeah we do have a vehicle right here on the right hand side as well. Hopefully we take that. Oh, there it goes. Uh, God damn it. Yeah, there's still a vehicle back here to the west side. There is a vehicle over here on the street this way that we could go to. We need to fight then. Circling you, they're circling you. I'm, I'm landing on top of the roof. Hopes I can do something. Enemy UAV 
If I was orange, since he's coming back from the heavens, I would go get a vehicle and I'm drive it to the scene. To the top. I would grab a vehicle for oh, pickup. Again, I don't, I don't like this plan at all. And the reason being is we, we just got all of our teammates back. We we're all ready to go, and now we're putting ourselves in a situation to where we might be soloing squads once again, having to get money together once again. Um, run, busted, run. Which is just slowing down our gameplay. It's slowing down the amount of kills, and it's a huge risk that I'm, I'm not willing to take. So they're on the rooftop. You can tell by the angle of the shooting. I'd break to the left, Wait, get over that wall. Roll? I wouldn't even try to challenge him. I wouldn't go back. I'd literally get that scav, get the vehicle, and get the hell out of here, man. Y'all have way you. more balls than I do. He's cracked, he's cracked. Two people there. Like I said, like I said, when you're going up against a Mac 10 with a basic bitch weapon you pick up off the ground, it's a very hard fight to win no matter what. Even if we would have hit all of our shots, still is a very hard fight to win nonetheless. So again, I stand by the firm plan of the moment we saw that team pushing us, the moment that we said we had to get the hell out of here, which they did say instantly, they should have got the hell out of here. For some reason, they decided to play the area. Even if you have one guy lagging behind, I'd rather three of us get the hell out of here and let him die off than all of us try to stick together and thug it out. And then next thing you know, we lose more than just one teammate. That's exactly what's happening. But the game's not over yet. Keep yourself together. Keep your cool. Shake back and hopefully win this game. And again, this is the vehicle I've been talking about this whole time. It's sitting on the street on the other side of the train station. This is the one that's been sitting here the whole time we've been fighting. Instantly run over here, get your load out, and you can come back and fight later. Especially with the money we did have. We could have bought three UAVs, self reses We could have bought so much shit. So now not only did we go from having all four of our teammates back, but we're also now broke once again. Shit, I grabbed the wrong gun. And again, I get that vehicle. Get the vehicle, go to the scab, yeah, then go just go just get your load me. out. And then once you get the load out, use that buy station right next to the load out. Can you guys point out the next uh aid station marked? Oh wait, not that. We're going here, bro. Let's go. Cancel, cancel. Fuck, we got a UAV over us. You want to go to apartments? Now, the helicopter scares me. Usually, if a team brings a helicopter somewhere and it's still there, that means the team's still there. It's very rare a team is going to bring a chopper to a buy station and just tell it to F off. So, I will be highly surprised. You guys are splitting up. I'll be highly surprised if nobody's over here. Now, the team is arguing right now, saying you guys are splitting up. That's also a bad idea. Don't split up. Um, if you guys have your loadouts and you're feeling you're feeling on fire, split up for sure. But we don't have shit, man. We don't have shit. Um, I definitely would not feel comfortable splitting up in this situation, a solo squad, especially when we've been having such a hard fight and momentum is working against us. Again, um, I do think Orange needs to come with us. We should skip this buy station altogether because I do believe there's going to be a team camping here. There might not be, but I do believe that I would go over here because there's a buy station and our loadout right next to each other. There is a heli there. There's a heli there. I love it. What are you going to do? Yep. You got all the money. He recognized the heli as well. Fuck it. Go for the bite. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Now, that's an audible that I think he threw just because the bounty's over here. He's on it. Your bounty's on it. So to break it down, before they picked the bounty, my original plan of going to the buy station that I've been bragging about this whole time would have failed. And we would have died, okay? We would have got shit on. So luckily this team picked up the bounty and luckily it identified the guy that was at the area that I had been recommending and that this team was about to go to. Um, sometimes it is what it is. I thought there was a team here. I thought that would probably be cleared. Clearly I was mistaken and it flip flopped and here comes the audible and I love it. The moment that the bounty was there, he said, screw that, I'm heading off, let's just go ahead and use this one. Now, once we use this buy station, buy back our teammates, we can get the helicopter, we can fly around. Hopefully this team will F off and we can get our load out. But let's see what happens. Let's see what comes into play. Yeah, they just bought a load out here. They bought a load out there. On purple mark. We can, uh... Can you guys all please pull out your aggro mode? Enemy UAV pull out fucking sniper and all that shit. What the hell? 
Someone literally just wasted a streak we got to blow up a helicopter. Guys, stop wasting streaks to destroy vehicles. You look like a dumbass when you do that. That shit was just absolutely idiotic and a waste of money. Even if it was free, super waste. Why not just use it to the guys who just bought a load out on the rooftop to our right hand side? Nobody said I anything. Downed one. Good shit. Down two. Guys, down two, down two, down two. Fight. Now, we're in a position right now. Where we're fighting two teams that I don't think our team realizes it yet. So judging by the tracers that are coming at us from this side right here, it's coming from the rooftop of the building that just bought the loadout drop. Not only that, but we're fighting two people to our left-hand side as well. So this is a position we don't want to be in. So what I would do in this position is get out of this damn warehouse because in order to fight the team that's to our left, we'd have to reveal our body to the guys on the rooftop. Work my way out the back door over here, work the edge of this building behind us. That way we're using the entire building as cover and then we could hopefully fight more efficiently. Fight, fight. So you're getting shot from different areas. Look at the that's tracers, team. That's always. Always follow the tracers. That's another team. Climb up, climb up. And again, that team is just working the shit out of us right now. Because sus. That team is just working the shit out of us right now, man. The moment he gets up, plate the hell up and get the hell out of this position. Green. We need to pursue these guys. Anyway, let's go. Let's go up, let's go up. I actually have a good spot to go to, but I need these guys to fucking. Thanks, guys, I need I need ammo. I need ammo. Oh, you also, pay attention to mini map. We got the bounty oh, pushing man. us from the back inside now. This is going to be very dangerous if they decide to get out and fight us. Which they are not. They are not. I'm going roof here. Another vehicle. Marking hostile vehicle. Damn, we're getting bugged. Somebody landed on us. Got on the rooftop, got on the rooftop. Damn it, he missed out. We get and we're still from, getting uh, shot from the roof. Still. still getting shot from the roof of hotel. Yep. Watch your back, watch your back. I down, there's a guy down in there with you, uh, Busted. Finish him, finish him. Finish him. Right. He's dead. There's a satchel and an armor box. Uh, t t uh, guys, try to take that precision, precision uh, hotel, guys. Now, why are we so intense right now? Why are there so many fights happening? Why is everyone focused on us? This is a position that we kind of put ourselves into. We're on the edge of the circle, right? We're in a spot where everyone wants to be at or needs to be at. People rotating from storage town, from boneyard, from train station. There's a lot of people trying to get to us right now. Not to mention we have the dumbasses camping the rooftop that have been up there for about 90 minutes. Idiots, man. I agree. Look, this is shooting. We have a good spot here, guys. So at this point, what I would do is clear this area. We don't, I have no idea if these guys are dead. I have no idea if, if any of these teams are wiped. We don't know. We got a couple downs. We executed a couple guys, but there was so much shit going on. I still have a strong feeling that there's another team or another enemy somewhere in this bitch. Not just the guys on the roof of a hotel that's been shooting at us, but there's gotta be someone else here too because there were two teams that pushed us and we only got like three or four knocks. So I'm not really feeling confident with the play of just kind of sitting here waiting. Now, just like at the beginning of the game, when, when we didn't want to push this building because people were camping in there, we've now done the same thing. We've now put ourselves in the position to play like this. Now, I don't recommend playing like this ever. All you're doing is cramming yourself up, allowing for the enemy teams or even a third party situation to happen to come up into your building and then you get shot at from multiple angles. Not to mention these little windows right here to our right hand side or that way. The hotel has a perfect angle on you too. So again, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd be playing the buildings. Keep your feet on the ground, play the walls, play the buildings, jump out of windows, rotate around and confuse the enemy. When teams are trying to figure out what to do, if you're sitting perfectly stagnant, it's gonna be way more easy for them to plan on how to attack you. Unlike if you're moving around the buildings, shit's gonna be changing. They're not gonna really be able to come up with a good plan to push you because they have no idea what the hell you're doing because you're moving around like a cracked out bat out of hell. Uh, is there a guy on buy station? I'm going to buy station, fuck it. Very ballsy, very ballsy. All right, all right. Seems clear, giddy wavy in the air. I see him. He's right outside the door. Get some recon up. He's going to the other side. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Dude, there are two enemies sitting in the little cubby right here. And there is an enemy on this side of our building. Enemy in here, too. All the teams are here. Again, not a fan of this. I hate it. So what should we be doing? I know I'm pausing the video a lot, but just more shit keeps popping into my head because we keep doing things that I'd rather us not do. He's by himself. He's by himself. He's by himself. We outnumber this fight already, assuming no one's got ghosts on running around here, right? We already outnumbered them, four to three. 
But if we were just attack one guy and then push to the next one and push to the next one, we can bulldoze through them. Some of the best gameplays you guys see are when teams are in sync and they're literally just driving up in vehicles, jumping out, they blow through a team, they hop back in the vehicle, they go to the next team, they jump out, they blow through the team. They don't sit here and just play it slow and wait for a pick and wait for a pick and wait for a pick because you run the huge risk of going down yourself. Now, instead of outnumbering the team, they will then outnumber you. So again, I don't like this at all. I'd be attacking these guys one at a time. They're spread out, make them your bitch. Got him. There's the one guy in this little, uh, be advised, UAV is being this little thing right here. They have me sighted. I'm getting shot Somebody from who? Right from left side somewhere. Kick out. He's right here. There's a guy on the hill too. Oh no. Why did he go in there? Enemy cluster strike incoming. Take cover. I'm gonna be honest. I'm with green. I'm with green, dude. Dude, screw this. This is taking way too long. The longer we wait, the more teams that just show up. Like the guy on the hill that's shooting at us right now and launching cluster strikes. He wasn't here six minutes ago when this fight started. Like this is, we should already be winning this fight. I would definitely leave this build and I would have pushed that one guy because green just died in a 1v1. If we would have been there with him, that would have been it. We could then blow through the next guy and then so on and so forth. So um, I'm with the idea green had. I do wish green would have said something to the team and then they could have like worked it out together. Um, but unfortunately, he went in by himself and he got killed. But still, I do stand with that play. I, I definitely would want this entire team to push in there and get the kills. It's risky, man. I can't do it. Yeah, too risky for a buyback for sure. Yeah, of course they see you guys here. Stay in here. Stay in here. Do not move. Now, the fear that I have is if we stay too long, because of all the noise we're making, He's, uh, close. and because of the way we're camped up, if the enemies that are surrounding us right now get positioned before us, we're screwed. We're screwed. We have a wide open gap. We have to leave this building in order to get safe. We don't have any cover at all. So if these guys are smart and they come to this building here and hold the angle, go to this building and hold the angle, even go to this one and sit in the windows, the moment we go to rotate, we're dead. Not to mention, we still have the guys on hotel rooftop that have a great line of sight on us too. So this may work out in our favor, but strategy-wise, I'm actually terrified for this squad. Mark him, mark him. Don't, don't, don't add it. Always, always mark when you see those guys. Yeah. I love that. Dude, I will say one thing, man. This yeah, team, I love the way they work shit out. I think they have a little okay, bit of work anymore, to do. So we have to move anyway. When it comes nice, to planning. Nice, nice. Me too where comms are actually really on point. And when someone's lacking on pinging, another teammate jumps out and they hit bro, mask. ping that shit. Yeah, I, I love mask. it. I'm going for it. Yeah, you got to, I love that too. You guys need ammo? To get to the second place, which we're probably not gonna do. Oh! Right Damn. What a dick. Oh no. Oh, weird. Oh no. We're now down to two One teammates. More. The moment we have to go in the open, we were on a huge risk of getting of getting shot at from people holding angles. Still. And that's God, exactly what happened. Sniping. Yellow house, they're sniping. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. What the f man? You guys sniped? You guys sniped? Yeah, I got it. I'm in the clear, I'm in the clear, but you gotta save me now, man. You gotta save me now, otherwise it's still over. Get up and back on tap. They're come, coming around. Good try. Man. Now, they got number four, um, GG's, but as far as the guy that pushed us at the end, he kind of was stupid too. I'm not gonna lie. It was a really bad play on his part. He had circle favor. We had to leave our cover and get safe before the team in Yellow House did. I don't know why he played so aggro for that. I'm very surprised the ego challenge on that one. But GG nonetheless. Fellow brother, thank you so much for submitting the gameplay, dude. I really had a fun time watching you guys. Y'all's comms were on point. I love the fact that y'all are calling each other out on mistakes y'all were making. That was beautiful. A couple plays I didn't like to see, uh, especially at the end, I think is the one thing I would gravitate towards working on is 
stop clustering yourself in areas for way too long again you want to win fights fast it happened once at boneyard we, we sat at boneyard a little too long we lost a teammate and it was just a little prolonged of a fight it's exactly what happened in game and because we stayed so long and because we camped up in that building and allowed one team to come and then another team to come and then another team to come it just felt like we never had a break because we didn't but in all actuality we put ourselves in that position it made it extremely hard for you guys to get out safely without getting shot from multiple directions you had guys on the right side of y'all. You had guys on the left side of y'all. Y'all had guys in gas still shooting at y'all. Y'all had guys on top of the rooftop still shooting at you. You had a guy camping on the outside of your warehouse waiting for y'all to come out the door. And y'all had a guy on rooftop of hotel still shooting at y'all as well. There were so many teams looking at you guys. Y'all couldn't even see straight. And lastly, as far as comms is concerned, again, they were great, but I would definitely work on coming up with a plan and executing it efficiently. Y'all's comms are on point. Y'all are pinging on point. Y'all calling each other out. But the one thing y'all lacked was coming up with a plan and going ahead and executing it. Guys, I really hope y'all learned something from this video if you did leave it a thumbs up leave it a like and also if you want to submit your gameplay or your team's gameplay make sure you join our discord community and utilize the submissions videos page to your advantage to go ahead and upload your gameplay so that i can analyze it here on the channel but until next time you have a good one and good luck in warzone thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you check out one of these two videos right here and as always subscribe by clicking that icon but until next time you have a good one and keep on improving